today we will look at this problem of scattering of sound from a rigid sphere. Okay. So, what is this sound? A plane wave sound, a scattering of a plane wave. from a rigid sphere. Okay. Now, what do we mean? What we mean is that there is a plane wave that is moving There is a plane wave of sound moving and if you look at this region of let us say interest and it will keep on moving if there is nothing to obstruct it. Okay. So, I will call it P i incident pressure P i. Okay. But now, what we do is in its path there is a rigid sphere, there is a rigid sphere in its path. Okay. And therefore, there is going to be a changed pressure field. the change pressure field we will call it as P t. Okay. So, P t is a result of what P t is a result of P i plus something definitely right because P t cannot be equal to P i. P t will be different from P i because now an object has been placed. So, let us we are supposing that that P t is P i plus something added. Okay. But what is the nature of P t? What is the nature of P t? It is del p by del n or del r on this sphere is 0. Okay. That, that we acknowledge right because this resultant sound field that is going to be there will have 0 velocity on this surface of the rigid sphere. Okay. So, this part is clear. So, let us this is T this is T over here. Okay. So, that means what, what I have is del by del n P i plus del by del n P s equal to 0. Okay. Whether we take it inward or outward does not matter n and r will be either in the same direction not does not matter. So, this will end up as del by del r of p i plus del by del r of p s equal to 0. Okay. So, now we have to generate p i and we have to generate p s. We will do it exactly as we did for the green functions. green functions. Okay. Now, we will set it up like this. This is my axis of the
this is the axis of my sphere and this is my sphere here. I am going to measure theta equal to 0 here and theta equal to pi here. This is my center. Okay. I will measure from here, I will locate a point source here. This distance is r dash okay. and the sphere of course is of radius r equal to a. Okay. And r is the integration variable, r dash is a point source location, point source location. Now, a point source will actually put out spherical waves, okay. a point source will put out spherical waves. So, when they start approaching the rigid sphere, they may be spherical if the sphere is near, they will become planar if the sphere is large. So, after we find the solution, we will make r dash go to infinity. Okay. So, when r dash goes towards infinity, what the rigid sphere will be seeing is a plane wave that is that is the idea. Okay. So, now obviously, the source response, the response of the sound field to a point source is p i okay, r comma theta comma phi is e to the power of minus i k r minus r dash by 4 pi r minus r dash. Okay. So, this we will write Again, we will write an expansion. Okay, or we do we write by expansion? We write it as minus i k. This is a green function, right? Minus i k summation n from zero to infinity. J n of k r. Okay, in Henkel n of k r dash and r so that r dash is always greater than r r dash is always greater than r okay we will set r to a actually okay r to a so that r dash is outside So, now what do we do here? So, so, this is expressed as summation m equal to minus n to n y m conjugate n theta dash phi dash y m n theta comma phi. Okay. There will be some symmetry here which we will use soon. Okay. Then what is important here is that we must choose a P s r comma theta comma phi and add it to P i. such that 
del P i by del R okay at R equal to A plus del P s by del R at R equal to A again must be equal to 0. Okay. Now, whereas P i comes from a source, okay, P s is a homogeneous field, P s comes from a homogeneous field. which means it will satisfy the homogeneous Helmholtz equation in R theta phi. Okay. So, so what do we do? We choose now P is are all because of the spherical symmetry and so on these are all intelligent choices which can be done. So, this is like our green function homogeneous which we will write as i into k summation over n h n of k r dash. Okay j n dash of k a by h n dash of k a h n of k r okay. because this is exterior to us of a sphere and it go can go till infinity right this is a Henkel function. The scattered field is also outside this sphere some field outside the sphere and it can go off till infinity okay that is why the radial function is a Henkel function okay and further there is this product with m y m star n theta dash phi dash y m n theta comma phi again the r dash theta dash phi dash are dummy functions they do not participate in the homogeneous equation okay homogeneous equation but you can see that what we found from separable uh, separation of variables Henkel function and y m n theta are solutions of the separated PDs or ODs. Okay. Now, let us look at the del P i by del r at r equal to a that will be equal to minus i k square summation n equal to 0 to infinity j n dash k a h n of k r dash summation m y m conjugate n y m n. Okay. this is the del p i del r okay at the response point due to a source at r dash due to a source at r dash okay now what is del p s by del r at r equal to a okay if we look at this again r is appearing here so i get i k square summation n 
एंकल एन के आर डैश जे डैश एन ऑफ के ए एम सॉरी या जे जे डैश एन ऑफ के ए बाय एंकल एन डैश ऑफ के ए देन एंकल एन डैश के आर इवेल्यूएटेड ए के ए एंड देन द डबल सम So now this cancels off. I have J N dash K A J N dash K A H N K R dash H N K R dash plus I K square minus I K square, so that this this equation is satisfied. This equation is satisfied. Okay. Now this pressure is called. the scattered pressure the resulting pressure or what causes the resulting pressure the presence of the rigid sphere has generated a field which has modified the original field so that is called the scattered field okay scattered field so now if you look at the situation we have it is phi symmetric again there is phi symmetry okay so if i write my p incident r theta phi okay i get Equal to minus i k summation over n going from zero to infinity. J n of k r Hankel n of k r dash. Okay, square root. of twice n plus 1 by 4 pi okay now this this is coming from a point source so the source is r dash theta dash phi dash okay there is phi dash symmetry okay and then theta dash is at pi okay so we have here pn of cos pi which is minus 1 is equal to minus 1 to the power n okay into again square root of 2 n plus 1 by 4 pi p n cos theta. Okay, and phi dash we set it to zero. Okay, so what does that do? Similarly, we look at the green. I mean. the scattered pressure okay we'll write it as uh, ps let's write it as ps okay let's write it as ps ps okay so that we write again as r r dash i k summation over n from 0 to infinity hankel function k r dash j dash n of k a by 
हैंकल डैश एन ऑफ के ए इन टू हैंकल ऑफ के आर the same thing here also this is phi symmetric so we have 2n plus 1 4 pi theta dash is pi so i get minus 1 to the power n and i get z 2n plus 1 by 4 pi p n cos theta and phi is set to 0 okay the hankel function okay what i'm what what i want to do now is that so so we have a situation where uh we have a rigid sphere and insonified by a point source and uh, so it is being hit with spherical waves being hit with spherical waves okay now what i will do is i will take r dash to infinity r dash measured from here to infinity then what will be hitting the rigid sphere are plane waves so we want to see scattering of a plane wave okay so if we do that uh let me take some part to the next page here okay so now what we have is we would like to find an expression when the incident is a plane wave so let's see the hankel function second kind kr dash far field expansion is given by i to the power n plus 1 e to the power minus i k r dash by k r dash okay if we introduce this in place of this hankel function okay so what do we get p i r comma theta comma phi is equal to minus i k summation n from 0 to infinity okay i to the power n plus 1 into minus 1 to the power n from here e to the power of minus i k r dash by k r dash j n of k r twice n plus 1 by 4 pi p n cos theta p s r r dash is i k summation n i to the power n plus 1 minus 1 to the power n e to the power minus i k r dash by k r dash j n dash of k a by h n dash of k a h n of k r into 2n plus 1 by 4 pi into p n of cos theta okay now for p i we have minus 
i into i to the power n plus 1 into minus 1 to the power n ok. So, that we will take it as equal to minus i i to the power n minus 1 to the power n into i ok. This and this cancel off. So, we get minus i to the power n ok. So, for P s we will get an extra negative for P s we will get a negative minus i to the power n. So, then my P i becomes e to the power of minus i k r dash by 4 pi r dash summation n equal to 0 to infinity minus i to the power n j n of k r 2 n plus 1 p n of cos theta and p s r comma r dash is equal to minus e to the power of minus i k r dash by 4 pi r dash sum n going from 0 to infinity minus i to the power n j n dash k a by h n dash k a h n of k r into 2 n plus 1 p n cos theta ok. Now, this is this is coming from the fact that we are talking of a point source ok. And if there is a corresponding source amplitude the corresponding source amplitude and then I take P 0 and R dash, R dash goes to infinity. So, that e to the power of minus I k R dash by 4 pi R dash goes to 0, but I hold P 0 such that it holds a finite finite value, then what we have in then what we have is P i r theta phi is equal to P 0 sum over n minus i to the power n j n of k r twice n plus 1 p n cos theta. This becomes the expansion for a plane wave. an expansion of for a plane wave in terms of r theta with phi symmetry and similarly p s r comma r dash becomes equal to minus p 0 
sum over n going from 0 to infinity minus i to the power n j n dash of k a by h n dash k a h n of k r 2 n plus 1 p n cos theta. This now is the scattered field in response to a plane wave. I suppose you have followed what I did here. As long as R dash remains finite, we have a spherical wave hitting the rigid sphere. As R tends towards infinity, that is when the waves become planar. As they approach the rigid sphere. However, as r dash goes to infinity, this value is going down to 0. Okay. And so, I have put a source amplitude p 0 to balance that to keep it to some finite value. Okay. So, that combination of e to the power of minus i k r dash by 4 pi r dash into that value, I have replaced it another value which I called p0 again. Okay. Now, what is hitting is a plane wave. Okay. It is not dependent on r dash. Suppose you can follow the follow the logic. Okay. So, this is an expansion for a plane wave and this is now a response to a scattered field in response to a plane wave. Okay. So, that is the response here for a scattered uh, scattered pressure. Okay. The summation of these two will be the total pressure, but our interest is in the scattered pressure. So, I will leave the expression uh, here as it is. Okay. So, we will close this lecture at this point and we will continue in the next class. Thank you.